Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado. This generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you have a problem where the horn doesn't work on the steering wheel, you try to press it, doesn't make a noise, doesn't beep. Stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. It could be simple fix. We'll explain what you need to check, which fuse controls it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays, with a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to do how to fix engines transmissions engine codes engine lights uh, fuses all that stuff guys why we do all that because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free now guys we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so if the horn doesn't work what we need to check guys we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Silverado right here now you guys have many hidden fuse boxes all over this track that most people don't know they even exist and we will recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Chevy Silverado what you guys need to do you need to open the hood and once you open the hood on the driver's side you have a fuse box right here under this cover open it and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one for year 2014 to year 2016 and layout like that for year 2017 through 19. before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below now guys quick thing if you need to buy fuses relays parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste money and time if the horn doesn't work you need to check one main fuse guys now where is that fuse if we zoom in please make sure you stand till the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us we're talking about fuse number 48 this fuse right here will need to be checked now if you have 2017 through 19 model the location of the fuse will be exactly the same fuse number 48 other things that can cause guys the horn not to work okay on your chevy silverado so now the horn guys okay that's the horn right it's part of the steering wheel airbag system you have one device that's known as a quark spring let me show you this is between the steering wheel and the steering column it transfers the signal the wires from the steering wheel to the steering column it allows them to to turn the steering wheel often a bad quark spring can cause a horn not to work especially if the car was in an accident another thing could be a bad horn switch right here we don't see that happen quite often but something else guys that we see is a bad horn itself okay that's the horn if you want to see how to test the horn we have videos on our youtube channels that will teach you how to do that another thing that we see often where the wires connect to the horn itself they corrode or they get uh, actually guys uh, kind of like uh, corrosion wet uh, dirt stuck in them that can cause them not to work or loose wire we've seen that happen as well but nine out of ten times will be a bad fuse or a bad horn itself that caused that now guys you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that chevy silverado you have different fuses relays that could be really hard to find especially if you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, one time we needed a replacement one we couldn't get one we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that so what we do now we always get some spare fuses relays keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind guys that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time.